paint a dog. Do you want to paint a dog's face? No, Today's not, not the really. day for that. I really don't feel like it, actually. You don't feel like it? No. So why do you get everybody all excited about painting the dog's face, and then you just want, decide? I don't know why people want paintings of dogs. Well, that, that, because people love dogs. I think that's kind of a sad thing. People love dogs, say. Like, people oh, love dogs. Your sparkles. <laughs> people love dogs, say. It was eaten by a mountain lion. Oh, say. If it was me, I'd have the mountain lion mounted with the stuffed dog in the mountain lion's mouth. Yeah. Be like, yeah, he went out like a champ, and I'm gonna he like, went out like a champ. I'm gonna have the taxidermist <laughs> yeah, like yeah. put a knife in one of his paws, oh, stab him in the mountain lion in the throat. Oh, sights! You're gonna have everybody all up my bum on on Instagram, on the YouTube now. Are we gonna paint, or are you gonna? Or are you still? You said right you're ready. Well, I kind of lie about that every time, pretty much. Lamp black. I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. I, I do feel like I'm gonna use this. This is silver from Amsterdam. Now, as you guys know, that my my favorite go-to's for um, metallics or interference is, is my number one choice is golden, just because the pigments are so danged good. Um, but sometimes you gotta you gotta mix it. Sometimes their pigments are a little overpowering, and I just want a little subtlety of something or another. Um, I'm looking for a paint color. I can't find it. Um this one. Yeah, I need that. Is that empty? Yeah, it's empty. You should be able to cut that open and get all you need out of there. That's what I think. I'd look in the red. You'd look in the pink. red? I'm gonna, this is gonna be on backup. Greenish. Okay, so this is another color palette request from a fan. Um, and we love these requests. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. The first thing, normally when we get started on this, I, I start with the top color, but this, the gray, is more intriguing to me because I'm pretty sure we have a color straight out of the tube for this, which typically never happens. In all reality, this to me looks like Indithrine Blue from Liquitex, but we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna do this a little to the greenish blue color. Uh -huh. So we're going to use the greenish blue uh -huh. with maybe a little Prussian in it. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about getting to the... To the blacks or to a gray. Now I know that typically your very first response if you're going to make gray is to pick a titanium white and pick a black. Well this is a blue and purple palette here. Primarily purples because I see purple in this gray too so I'm going to pick lamp black which is a purple black and I'm going to start with it. So we're going to put black right here. Okay maybe I lied. Ooh, that had a nasty booger in it. Let me tell you what happens in my studio. I'm gonna have to cut that. What happens yeah. is, I typically have so many is that almost tubes empty? of paint, yeah. Tubes of paint that once I get low, I just drive on to the next one. So now that we have a ton of paint coming on Friday, I am really working to get to the end of it. Well, this, we only need a small amount and we're gonna have, of course we could go negative space in the gray, and then use these three colors too. Ooh, that would be pretty. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself. Shut up, Says. There's your lamp black. Now, instead of going white, I'm going to go with this uh, Naples Yellow Light Red, which I know is like completely off the wall. But let me tell you why. Because of the red, see this, this purple right here is a red purple. So this um, Naples, is a, even though it's a yellow, it's a red yellow and it's a higher and higher uh, value so I want to see what a little bit of that in with the black where it's gonna come if how how much of that we need to get close to the gray that we have for this palette because it's a purple gray so just starting out We're just, a, we're just a, needing a little bit more of that lighter value. And I'm not saying that I'm going to finish with the Naples yellow, red, light. But I am saying that I like the direction it's headed in. It's a beautiful color. It's a very creamy, very, very creamy color. Looks fantastic on camera. All grays are not created equal, you guys. There's just as many grays as there are any other color in the world. 
That's the color I want my car to be. This? Yeah. Well, I pretty much have it. Hey, Tuffy, I no. need you to not do that. And I need you to stay over there because there's paintings drying. Don't go lay down. Up, up. You gotta stop right there. Mm hmm, boy. Good dog. Gonna go a little higher value because it will dry darker. Look at that color. My paper is curling because it's drying out a little bit. Because we didn't really soak this canvas very much. So what I'm going to do is... Okay, now... Let's put a bead of that right here and just check it. Okay, now, I don't know, the camera is really, really good, so you might be able to pick on the, up on this. And you're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to keep following along because eventually you will learn to see color the way I do. This color is almost there. But in my opinion, it's lacking some of this purple pigment. So we're gonna, say we're gonna leave to this, it's, yeah, this is purple. So we're gonna leave this right here. I'm gonna clean my knife off. I'm gonna get me a paper towel. I need a paper towel size. <clears throat> now, the next thing I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna make my, my cream hue here. And I'm using the same base of the Naples Yellow Red Light. Oh wow, that was, I was not expecting you to do that. Naples Yellow Red Light. That's the base we're working with here, okay? Gotcha. So, when you put this up against this, of course, it's just not quite there. We need to bring it down a little bit. Sorry, so, I'm what like, do we need to do? To out, you're like, this is still I'm going to one yellow. place and then you're going to the other place. So, trying to like keep up here. We're gonna leave that right here for just a minute. I know this 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 one's getting a little crazy here. We're getting crazy with it. Now, we're gonna go to permanent red violet. I want you guys to really seriously know that I do not mix these ahead of time. I don't mix them ahead of time. I don't practice these palettes. I shoot straight from the hip. Um, we don't pre-record all of these and then work the kinks out and then go back in because I want it to be you know, as real to what you go through as possible. So this is it straight out of the tube. Now, we're pretty danged close there. So, pretty close, but it's lacking a pigment. And this is going to um, finish up fairly quickly because we are going to uh, start putting a little dabs of this and little dabs of that. Like a, Where's my scissors? I'm thinking like a blue. Yeah, that one's exactly right. See, this is too would much be, to the red. Would it be so, that? So yes. you need that, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out. We're gonna see where it is. And we may need to put a little bit of that reddish purple mixture in it to get it right. That's pretty damn spot on there. So I'm gonna take my, my knife and I'm gonna scrape out a hunk of this right here. Ooh. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. It's kind of chunky. It is kind of chunky. But you can see that it's pretty close, but it's a little too intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut just a tiny bit of that gray there. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to drop the intensity of that with a little bit of that gray. So now... It's right where it needs to be. Now rather than clean my palette, I'm gonna come over here to this red and I'm gonna start running some of that blue in there. Now I might at first have too much blue on my palette, on my knife, and so I may have to adjust it again. But do you see how we've taken the red down just a touch and we've gone to more of a plum. Ooh, that's beautiful. However, 
if it was me, I would keep this, but for, for purposes of keeping this in line with how to get these colors, I'm going to come back in with some more of this permanent red violet because I did have too much of that blue on my palette knife. And I'm gonna have quite a bit of this paint. So Chase, you're probably gonna have to make one as well so we don't waste paint. There it is. Look at that, it's an exact match. Wow. Seriously, right? Yep. Okay, so now I know I'm done with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scrape all this up and I'm gonna put it in a cup. Okay, what are we doing okay. to next? Next, what we're gonna do is that gray is still not where it needs to be, okay? You gonna add in a little bit of that purple? What I'm gonna gray. do is, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna wipe my knife off, okay? Cause I've got way too much paint on my knife. I'm gonna clean it. I'm, even though it's got dried paint on it, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna come in right here and I'm just gonna scrape across that paper. And literally I'm scraping up just fluidy paint. See that bead? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna add that. Cause you wanna go small increments, even if it takes a little longer to get to your paint. You do not wanna come in with a ton of paint at once because then you'll end up making six gallons of this gray. And all we're trying to do is take that yellow edge off of this gray and give it more of a purple red edge to it. So this is where we were earlier. That's where we are now. I'm going to grab another bead of red. This purple is very transparent, the gray is very opaque. So these two colors take a little bit of getting together. I also feel like I want to raise the value of this just a touch by adding in a little bit of zinc white. Just a little zinc white, just a touch of zinc white. Let's see if there's any left in this tube. Yep. There we go. Still too high value. All right, I'm gonna come over here. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. We're going to add a little bit of the silver to it because that's a higher value paint with the metallic. We're going to see if we can get it there from this. I think we did it. How's that? I like it. I think it needs to go a little more. Still a little, still, I'm going to cut another bead of that purple in there. That's so pretty. Well, it's still just a little too much to the yellow. It almost has a green in it. Up against that photo anyway. Let's keep trying. Because if I'm gonna keep teach you color, then I need to be able to get it as well, right? This isn't an, oh, well, it's close enough game. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's the color. Can you see that? You're a genius. Yep. Can you see that it is yep. exact? Okay. Perfect. Now, so. Is that everything? No, that's not everything. Uh, we got to go to the blue next, right? Mm, the, yeah, the blue is no big deal. So we're going to put all this gray here in the cup. We have a ton of it. Right? 
-hmm. Now we have this Naples Yellow Red Light. We have a very irritated paper because it's starting to shrink up because um, it's drying out on certain sides. That's why it's doing that. What I want to do is wipe off my brush, my palette knife again, because all I need to do is dirty this mixture with a little bit of that gray. Same technique with the uh, when she was making them gray. Yep. Okay. Where's that squeegee? So I'm gonna end up putting my hand in that wet paint there. And I do not want to do that. Okay, so that's taking the edge off of that. But I'm going to show you what we've done here. Minute shifts in the intensity. I've lowered the intensity of that paint that we started straight on the tube. Okay. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do Did you is, already show them the... Yeah, right there. See that? See that? See this one up high is straight out of the tube. That's with the gray in it. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little bit more gray to it. Mm -hmm. Because... I need to add some white to it. That's an even better color there. You guys see how important it is to make your own grays and blacks, or to make your own grays, and not just mix a black with a white and call it good. It's crucial to getting the colors the way you need them. Which you may not care about in the pouring, but you will care about the moment you decide you want to paint something else. Okay, now, so that was straight out of the tube. That was, that's with a little bit of the gray mixture. That's with a little more of the gray mixture. And I hope you can see, because I can see it plain as day, that this is just a few shades of value higher, lower than what this is. So we mm -hmm. need to raise the value of that pile of paint. The way we do that is with a little bit of titanium white. And the reason why we're using titanium is because I don't need 10 gallons of this. Oh, sorry guys, I can't, I cannot do anything about the, this being jerky and stuff like that. This tripod's worn out. This camera's heavy. Okay, a little bit higher value. A little bit more of that titanium white. Stay now. close girl, you can do it. And here you thought this was going to be a simple color palette with not much going on, only four colors, blah, 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 blah. And look at all the mixing we've done to get there. Going to go one more time? Going to go one more time. We'll need all this high value paint to balance out the dark hues of all the, the gray and the purple and the blue anyway. Let's see if we're on it. I'm going to tell you that I want to go one more time with the titanium white. We'll have two cups of white. Guys, we're just going to keep mixing color and mixing color and mixing color until we've got Amsterdam covered. And then when you're ready to switch gears, we'll, we'll pick up a new line of paint and do it with those. Because I think it's really important that you know how to mix them all. Because not all pigments. Um, I still don't think it's quite there yet. I'm going to go one more time. And all, not all titanium paint is created equal either. If we were using a different brand of titanium paint, we might have gotten there faster than what we are right now. Now, I don't like all that titanium in my paint. It makes everything chalky. So I prefer, when it comes to titanium white, that, we straight, that I use Amsterdam even in my ocean paintings because... It dries very glossy. It dries, no, it dries very chalky okay. if you don't. 
that, you know, this is pretty potent stuff. There we are. There's the color. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> okay, that's exactly the color. So let's load two cups with this. The trick with this is to not get the blue in that at all. Right, are we hitting the blue next? Yep, we're hitting the blue next. So, and in my opinion, I'm going to clean off my knife because I don't want any of this in my blue. I don't want to contaminate my paint. My opinion, this blue is ready to go. So we're just going to, well, you know what? We are going to come over here and cut a bead of this purple and put that in there. That purple is beautiful. So beautiful. There we go. That's what I wanted. You want to show us on the pepper? Looks to me like that's it. A little bit of that darker purple that we had mixed earlier. And with that, it's right on. So. All right, let's get to pouring. So this should be a very cohesive palette. Reading of Twas the Night. Look at that display she's got going on. I know, there. isn't that fancy? I mean, for real, it's, it's fancy. Okay, so we've taken the time to mix all these colors. It took a little longer on this creamy color one, which probably blows your mind, but uh, we've, we got to it. We've got the purple, we've got the gray, we've got the blue, and I've added, taken the liberty of adding silver. Oops, that's not a color on the palette. That'll be interesting. Um, taking the liberty of adding silver from the Amsterdam line. It's a very light silver color. Uh, so that we've got a little bit of sparkle in here because you all know how much I love sparkles. Okay, so um, I kind of don't know what I want to do, Say, si. I think, gloves. Um, yeah, you need gloves. Um, yeah, um, you need gloves. Remember that uh, there's no silicone in the cups because we're taking a while on this one. I'm going to do a double pour is what I think I'm going to do here. So each of us get one cup of the white that I mixed up, which is really not white, but we're just for ease, the ease of language, we're just going to call it white. I'm assuming that. And I'm then I'm going to drop a bead of silicone in mine. One. And one. And literally, guys, it's spot on treadmill oil. That's what I'm using. Very little. Literally one drop so far. I'm going to drop a little bit of that blue in there. This is awesome. I want you to know that right because now. Because you can see. You can turn your screen around on this new yeah. camera. So Chase can actually play along with us and see what's being done. Now, I'm not going to pour from up high on this. I'm going to pour down low so it just kind of coats that blue. I'm going to go with no silicone again. Oh, you are? Yep. I think you should put silicone in it. Don't use all that purple. How's it feel real? Huh? How's it feel? You're gonna have a purple painting. How's it feel real? Doesn't feel good, does it? <clears throat> I'm gonna add another drop of silicone in each cup here. Chase used all my purple. And I wanted this to be predominantly purple and not predominantly blue, but um, he's not wearing his ass hat uh, t-shirt that Melissa, the shoplifter, um, made for him. But uh, he should be. Mm -hmm. There's the gray. Ooh, that gray is pretty. It, it's purdy, say. It's purdy. And it do gray, work. Isn't it gray? Oh no, you wanted a purple pour.
One more dab of silicone. Just one more. Hope you're done with purple because I am killing it all here. I have a feeling these are going to be gorgeous. Beautiful. A little bit more white. A little bit more blue. Did you put silicone in yours? I did not. You told me to and I ignored you. You know why? Because you poured from super high and you think it's going to work anyway? You're not my boss, that's why. Oh, because I'm not your boss, okay. Actually, because I couldn't reach the silicone, that's why I didn't put it in there. You didn't ask for it, you could have just asked for silicone. I don't like you, so why would I do that? I can understand. So, okay. You ready? I think, I think I might be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of used to setting them on fire now, so. So while you do that, that's going to be cool. Watch your sleeve. Come on. Oh, that's beautiful. Try to drag the rest of that out of this cup because it's coming out beautiful. Sace has got some really pretty things going on over there. I'm going to grab the torch, see what I can get done over here. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh boy, this is beautiful. Now it's not as dark as as Chase's, but it's it's gorgeous. All of that silver is just really showing up nicely, and the cells that are forming are all ringed in a purple or the the uh, blue, and it is stunning for reals. Very stunning. Look at that. Okay, we've got a few boogers to pick. Is our flow trawl coming in tomorrow, I'll say? Should be. Because so we got kits to ship out. And I, I'm, I'm quoting both the people that I talked to about it, so. I understand, and it's totally out of your control. You can't control whether or not they 
do what they say they're going to do or mm -hmm. not. Exactly. No idea if they've really ordered for us or not. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mine is more like marble. I love it. Um, I really thought it was going to be a dark color palette, so I went, I aired on the side of a lot more curve it. What do you mean curve it? You've got a beautiful curve right there. Mm-hmm. So curve that down like that. Bring that back up. Look at that. Look at your cells with no silicone. Mm -hmm. We're blowing the myth of the silicone myth here is right. what we're trying to do. Yes. We have a lot of folks telling us they can't get silicone, so we're doing everything we can to try to give them an outlet. Now, don't get in my... But look how these cells are continuing to develop over here. True. And you've got a corner here I'm going to help you with. Here. Here and here. Chase, that's beautiful. You... <laughs> I don't know who they're going to pick because they're both gorgeous. Completely different, but both gorgeous. Okay, I'm, uh, gonna Paper take, towel. I'm taking my gloves off. And zooming in. Yep. Make sure you get a good shot of these because, wow, these are beautiful. These need to go on Instagram, too. Mm-hmm. Because these are gorge. Okay, we have the, uh... Well, I like the suck my butt pour over here on this. Let's get a little closer. And I love the different purples that your blues have, blues and that purple have mixed together to make. You've got several different hues of purple in there. It's really stunning, Sace. Thank you. I'm gonna, tried I'm gonna very hard mine. and worked a very lot of time for making those colors. <laughs> yeah, say, so you have the luxury of watching me mix the colors, although I think you're picking up on some of it. You know, everybody out in YouTube land has to then try to make their own colors the way I did to get these, to get their stuff to work right. And then we have, of course, yours truly and the uh, crowd favorite, the underdog. Oh no, Sace, you're not the crowd favorite. The say. Almighty Goat. Do this, do this, ooh girl, ooh girl. Can you like move your hand while I'm trying to? Sorry, I was this? picking a booger. You know my booger picking. Let's get up close. Look at those cells. Woo! Look at that. It's gonna make those cells break. Right there. She just did that. That just happened. That just happened. All right, where I'm gonna, are you? I'm, gonna, on, I'm, on, I'm on. gonna go right here. And hit that silver where it's pretty stiff. And burn my canvas. Good job. Set it on fire. Can you, you've got this big area here of blue. Can you torch just that right there? I don't think I want to. Fine, I'll do it on mine. It's at the third. Here, I'll see if I can bring some more of that purple up, maybe. That's so cool. Yep, those cells are moving. Look at them. Look at them go. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. It's really, really, really beautiful. Where do we get butane at? Ace. Ace hardware? Yep. Okay. So, I have this spot here that I'm going to torch. So I kind of guess where my camera's going to lie because it's heavy. You don't have your screen on. Ooh, say. Ooh, say. That's beautiful. I would stop before it gets too busy. Okay, so there you have it. Two different results, two different techniques. No silicone, silicone. And uh, obviously he's a purple hog. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened. You hit the gray for me. I couldn't see it. You never put the colors that are to where they're easy for me to reach, so...
You're, it's not my, my problem. The purple is are, the closest one. That you are, you know, having issues in all areas of your world, say. So, I think I'm a winner vote. here. And when you vote, remember, I mixed these colors. All he did was not, pour it on the canvas. Not, Seriously. I get not. I get bonus points from those. You're so, so losing this one, girl. So losing. I'm going to dribble paint in yours. Let's just, let's just come over here. Let's take one more look. Mm hmm Loser. And oh yeah, look at that. Winner. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Let's cut this one. Okay. So... Thanks for joining us in the studio. Vote. Don't vote over here. Vote over here. Hey, guys, we need these to be liked and shared. And please make comments. Even if you tell us how much we suck, we still need the comments. So like, share, subscribe, and uh, vote for your favorite. And, and if uh, you haven't already, please go check out the new channel. Yeah, because all of our live streams are about to run through the new channel. This channel is going to be only stuff like this. Link will be in the description. Link will be in the description. Until next time, thanks for joining us in the studio. Ciao!